Hi, everybody. This is Alan Fine, and I'm here with someone who's been on Insider Travel Report a number of times, Ann Chamberlain, who's the VP Sales USA for Scenic and Emerald Cruise Lines, That's correct? correct. Okay. Yes, it is. And we're going to, well, first of all, we're here for a christening. Emerald Luna has been being christened. We have a new godmother, and we have all sorts of travel advisor news here on Insider Travel Report. Emerald Luna has, has actually been, I've, I've found out it's been sailing for a little while and we're finally christening. How many voyages has it actually had already? Well, the Emerald Luna started sailing with us uh, as soon as May and she got underway right away. As you know, we had a very hectic time trying to climb through the pandemic and we wanted to get the Emerald Luna, a brand new ship, our ninth starship on the water as soon as possible. That was my other question. Now, we happen to be parked next to Emerald Dawn, and so I was wondering, what are the differences or similarities between ships? Well, what you'll notice on the star fleet of the Emerald Cruises brand is the feeling and the vibe on board. It's contemporary, it's sleek, it's fresh. We have that wonderful swimming pool, we have the spas on board, active wellness. That's very consistent throughout the Emerald Fleet. Well, the swimming pool turns into a movie theater. A cinema at night, which is pretty ingenious. Yeah, yeah. The other thing that you'll notice throughout the Emerald Cruise fleet uh, is the innovations. And it's uh, similar to on the Scenic brand, but really on Emerald to, you probably noticed your balcony, right? We call them actually sunrooms on board the Emerald ship. So the innovations on board with the swimming pool, converting to the cinema at night, the sunrooms in the cabin are just a few examples examples of what we offer. Well, let's just talk about the ship a little bit because I want to show some footage. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's very... Karen Maroney uh, is the wife of Glenn Maroney, our owner, and she's the one that has been carefully hand-selecting uh, all the fine fabrics and finishes throughout the Starship fleet. So she does an amazing job and has uh, a very good taste, obviously, as you can tell. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I like uh, about the, uh, the top deck is I feel like I'm in a park on land. Uh, the astroturf cools it almost, and, and it feels like I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, I, I said it, I said it. I feel like you're at a park and you're outside. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful out there and it's great for viewing, coming together. We have little organ, little parties up there and special celebrations as we go through certain spots along the way. You can practice your putting while you watch the that's castles right, go by. That's right. <laughs> The dining hall is beautiful. The lounge is uh, is is wonderful. Um, just you, uh, can you talk about those things because I want to yeah, show them. You also, you mentioned the chrome that you mentioned around the ship. It really makes the ship sparkle, and yeah. I think that's what I want people to understand too. Is it's bright and cheerful and contemporary, and that is its own luxury. It's light filled. A feeling of wellness and fresh well-being is really the vibe that you feel on board the ship. So um, travel advisors may or may not be as familiar with the, the brand, and uh, and you're a little bit of a disruptor. You want to talk about that? Yeah, really what helped us out was the Asta River Expo, the first expo that they did in Budapest earlier this year in March, that the travel advisors who walked through the Emerald Dawn we had on display were so impressed with the ship as they came through and saw the appointments, the size of the cabin, staterooms on board, and it really um, got them to think, I always thought Emerald was more for value because we've won so many value awards. But really, it's it's more than that. It's the, as I talked about earlier, the spa, the well-being, the active, Emerald active, the rad bikes you saw on board too, that just help make up that full experience and vibe that you get. So what's your favorite part of the ship? You know what I really enjoy about the Emerald Fleet is the wonderful coffee setup. Every time you come into the lounge, you make your own cappuccino or you make an ice latte. Uh, it's just available any time of the day. It's why I'm able to speak to you now. I used it prior <laughs> to this interview. It helps us over our jet lag, doesn't it? <laughs> Other favorite things about the uh, Emerald Luna and the whole fleet? Well, I have to say, the food and the service and our crew. Uh, we have uh, attracted a lot of crew from some of the luxury lines, and we're absolutely thrilled, I'm not going to tell you who, to have these crew on board. And just in the dining room, the service is impeccable, the food is outstanding on the Emerald Cruises brand. So come on board, we'd love to have you sail and experience everything that the Emerald brand has to offer.
The travel advisor needs to experience this. They need to learn. What what incentives and trips do you have planned for them? Well, one thing, the trips, absolutely. We feel education is so important. That's why we're so visible uh, and supportive of ASTA as we want people to understand the brands, both Scenic and Emerald Cruises, of course. And we invite them on our, our fam trips. Uh, we want them to feel what we have to offer and experience that. The other thing that we've done for trade is that when their clients pay in full for their cruise, newly announced, is our advanced pay commission. So travel advisors can receive their commissions within 20 days of their booking paid in full. That's 21 days of their booking paid in full. And it's a first for, for us to be able to do that for our valued trade. Well, that's very important. And uh, coming out of the, the, the pandemic, uh, this is a way to right away get things going. Absolutely. We know that they've been hurting, and this is a quick way for us to try to put money into their pockets faster. So I'm glad we can get that out to them. Now, are you noticing the, the bookings come back? Uh, we definitely, we're noticing the bookings come back. 22, 23, you, can you have any numbers to come tell us how we're doing? Yeah, actually, our 2022, with our major partners, their sales are stronger for 2022 than they were actually pre-pandemic mm -hmm. in 2019. So we're having a, a really looking forward to a great year ahead for 23 uh, as we get more of our advisors on our ships, really seeing what Emerald has to offer. And they'll certainly be happy uh, with the Emerald brand and their guests will come back again and again. And we got to be happy about the CDC and just loosening things up so we can travel more. Oh, absolutely. I think we all gave a huge <laughs> cheer uh, when uh, they decided to also lift the return to testing uh, to the United States. That was huge. Uh, so, so what should travel advisors be doing and thinking right now? What do you... What's your they advice to them? Be out and traveling and using their social media and showing the world that we're back to business again and what we've been missing for two and a half years, you know, not coming over to Europe and seeing these fabulous cities. It's time. It's time to get out and make those travel dreams come a reality. You heard her. <laughs> so thank you for talking to us. All right. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.